We're talking about intervals today, all right? So yesterday's uh, aerobic conditioning class, burn class, was three by three minutes for distance. Um, there is a number of ways to screw this type of workout up, and there's really one way, way to do it right. Uh, so what's the point and the purpose of training like this, right? To create a one-to-one -one work rest ratio. So we got three minutes on, rest to full recovery. Ideally, it should be no longer than three minutes, right? Especially for uh, a longer interval like, like this at three minutes. Uh, so we're looking for a one-to-one -one work rest ratio. What does that create? Consistency. So what you're looking at doing here, so here are my intervals today, right? Uh, I worked at a sub-maximal heart rate of 90% uh, 90, 90 of my 5K time trial, right? So I was down below 160 uh, on, on the heart rate, which is gonna keep the intensity down, right? For a specific purpose of creating consistency. So my intervals were 1.2, 1.1, 1.2. Good, right? All pretty consistent within a tenth of a mile of each other. How to do this bad or poorly or incorrectly, right? 1.75, we crush the first one, fall off the cliff. And for the second one, we get 1.1, and then the last one's like under a mile or something like that. Uh, not the way to do it, not the way at all. So inconsistent intervals. Overall volume might be the same, but the interval consistency is completely jacked up, okay? Uh, how do we create consistency? Focusing on the recovery interval almost more than the work interval, especially on a day when you're looking at sub-maximal thresholds, right? Uh, just like dynamic effort work, if you're talking about working with a barbell, uh, focusing on sub-maximal efforts and focusing on the recovery interval itself. So your work rest, during your rest, you should be able to recover to a full recovery consistently every single time. So my recovery intervals today were just as, as, uh, as consistent as my work intervals. So it took me two minutes and 55 seconds, two minutes and 55 seconds, and then uh, three minutes and five seconds for my last recovery interval. So the recovery work is gonna dictate how much work that you can actually get done during your working portions of the interval, right? So focusing on the recovery interval is incredibly important. Uh, how does that translate? How do we translate a workout like this to CrossFit? CrossFit is comprised of smaller intervals within larger intervals. So even if it's three rounds for time, there are periods of work and rest and focusing on creating consistent patterns of work and rest is going to be much more effective than trying to cram as much work as you can into the first round and, and becoming a first round hero. And then again, falling off the cliff or crashing the car as we like to call it uh, for rounds two, three and so on, right? Uh, so translate this type of interval work to CrossFit and it's gonna be much more sustainable for a longer time and you're gonna get better uh, over a longer period of time as well.